Kentucky D. And a common question that I get uh, from the newer players, which are, like I always tell you guys, are the lifeblood of paintball, is, um, you know, is it possible to use a home compressor uh, like this one to fill up your nitrogen tanks? And, you know, for people that are in the industry, it's kind of a silly question, but for people that are brand new to the industry, it's, it's really not. Um, you know, the, the question to put it bluntly is no. Unfortunately, you can't use one of these compressors to fill your nitrogen tank. Now, I have seen videos where people snowed in out in, you know, like North Dakota, bored out of their mind, you know, went and got the fittings here to, uh, um, you know, plug up their uh, home air compressor. They hooked it up to their gun. They got two shots and they all celebrated. <laughs> so luckily here in Florida, we don't really have that problem. But the, the, to put a bluntly note, you can't use these. The reason why is these tanks, uh, the, the high pressure air systems run, you know, anywhere between 3,000 or 4,500 PSI. These little guys here uh, that you can get from like Walmart or, or you know, a discount auto store or something like that. These only fill up to maybe about 110, 120 PSI. If you put 3,000 PSI in this little, this little, you know, dinky aluminum reservoir, this thing would turn into a bomb. It would explode. Um, it's just not meant to do it. It's meant to fill up your car tires, your bicycle tires, you know, which are meant to run at about 30 to 40 PSI, not 4,500 PSI. Uh, unfortunately, the air, the air compressors that the fields use you know, those things cost, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. They're diesel, you know, horsepower engines, three phase motors and huge, huge money. Um, they've got multiple stages to get the pressure up that high. I mean, big, big money, you know, very high technology stuff. Uh, but the, but to put it bluntly, no, you can't use that. A better investment if you're looking to fill your tanks up at the house is to get yourself a scuba tank. Okay. Um, I think I bought this scuba tank for about, uh, I think about a hundred and, uh, let's see, I probably bought this thing for about, uh, probably about $150 I, paid, I got the scuba tank for. Um, I got a PMI air fill station for about, I think it was about $45, $50. Uh, I believe this is a PMI air fill station. And uh, I can take this to the local uh, to the local scuba store. And I had to sign a waiver and explain to them this is for paintball, I don't use this for diving. And uh, for about man, four to five bucks, they fill it up for me right there on the spot. It takes them about two, three minutes. And uh, I can fill my tank up to 3,000 PSI. Now, another question I get too is like, wait a second, Mike, how do I know if I'm filling this, if I'm using a scuba tank to fill my tank up, how do I know when to stop? Well, here's what happens. You've got 3,000 PSI in here. Um, this tank is designed to go to 4,500. Okay, but let's say, for instance, this was a 3,000 PSI tank. Well, what's going to happen is the pressure is just going to equalize between the two, okay? This is going to start at 3,000, drop to about 2,800. This is going to start at zero, go to 2,800, okay? And then the next time you fill, this one's going to drop to about 2,600, and then the tank's just going to fill up to 2,600, and that's about it. Um, you know, so do they make scuba tanks to go to 4,500 PSI? I'm pretty sure they do, but they cost a fortune. And uh, the, the best round to get it for, for bang for your buck is definitely going to be the standard scuba tank that only cost, you know, maybe about 140, 150 bucks, cost you four or five dollars to fill up. Now, how many fills can you get off of this? I usually get about a half a dozen, can probably shoot maybe between two to three, maybe four cases of paint on this. Every time you fill it, the pressure's going to drop. It's going to go from 3,000 to 28 to 26, 24, 21, 20, you know, all the way down, 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 down. And then, uh, and then the tank pretty much fills up to about 800 PSI, which this one does. So um, this one's down right now at about 800 PSI because I filled it up probably six or seven times. Now, um, another question that I'm getting to, and, and it's a great question, is why do they call um, you know, these tanks uh, nitrogen systems or compressed air systems or ni uh, uh, nitrogen tanks or high pressure air tanks or HPA systems and stuff like that, okay? The industry hasn't really quite got a, uh, a handle on what to call these tanks. It doesn't really seem like there's no industry standard of what they're going to call these tanks. But I can tell you the easiest way to find out. If you're shooting, there, there's CO2 tanks, and then there's these guys, okay, which encompass the nitrogen tank, the uh, high pressure air, the, the, the compressed air, the high HPA systems, uh, that, all of that stuff. The easiest way to tell what your tank is, whether it's a CO2 tank or a high pressure air system tank, is to take a look and see if it has a gauge on it, okay? If it looks like this and it has a gauge on it, this is a nitrogen system. Now, why do they call it a nitrogen system or a compressed air system, okay? Based on who you listen to, the air that we breathe, okay, that, that goes into your lungs is made up of about 75% nitrogen, okay? It's about, 
I mean, maybe 25 to 30% oxygen, and then the rest of the, the composure is a mix of uh, argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, methane, all that stuff. But the majority of the air that we breathe is nitrogen. Now what they do is they take all this air and then they compress it down, okay, to 4,500 PSI or 3,000 PSI. So they take the, you know, all the air that's in this room here and they just yeah, compress it down about 4,500 PSI and they stick it into the tank. Well, since the majority of the air that's in the tank is nitrogen, a lot of people just nickname it nitrogen system or compressed air system or HPA system. It's all the same thing. It's either CO2 or high pressure air or whatever else you want to call it. Um, and so that's about it for, for the air stations and, and the air tanks and, and what you can use. Now, what can you use these little air compressors for? Um, I really like these things for cleaning out your gun. You know, you can, you know, blow your gun off, clean it off. It does a really good job. You can blow out your barrel, blow out the inside of your loader if you've got dirt in it. But above and beyond that, it really, these little guys just don't have any use for paintball. They only fill up to 120 PSI. 120 PSI maybe get you two shots on a normal gun. These things are just not built to get the 4,500 PSI or 3,000 PSI like what most of these uh, 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 tanks run on. So if you see a gauge on it, it's a high pressure air system. If it doesn't have a gauge, it's a... Thanks for tuning in.